boys and girls and welcome to my back garden for this week's activity. This week we're going to look at navigation and orienteering. Now I know some of our beaver scouts in Yuri are already keen orienteers. So I want you to think, all of you boys and girls, think about what we might need for navigating or orienteering. You would need your map, wouldn't you, to tell you where you are. You'd need a route plan or a route card to decide that's where you want to go. And then you would need a compass to tell you what direction you're traveling in. And your compass would look just like this. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make our own compass using just some basic materials that you should have at home. So what you're going to need for this activity is a cork, like one that would have in the top of a bottle of wine. Or if you don't have a cork, um, you could use some polystyrene. I'm going to try it with some polystyrene today. Um, you're going to need a container um, that you can fill up with water and it needs to be a non-metallic container. You're going to need a magnet. I've brought my wee nice magnet. It has a nice strong magnet in the back. And finally, you're going to need a needle. So I have a couple of needles here, and I think I'll use this one here, a nice big one. Okay, and finally, what you'll need for your container is water. So I have my jug of water waiting to go. So to start with, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to magnetize our needle and what we do is we take our magnet and we just run our needle along it from as close to the end as you can to the other end and you can actually turn the magnet as you're doing that now if you're using a, a, a magnet that you can get at both sides just pick one side of the magnet and do it on it so that you're not undoing your work and you need to do that maybe 20 maybe 30 times and when this is done, what's going to happen is we're magnetizing the needle. So once this needle is magnetized, if it was free to move, it would want to point in the direction of magnetic north. And that means just like our compass here on the table, it would point to north. So I think I've done that enough times there, for now anyway. We can do a bit more. If it, does, if it doesn't move to north, once we try it, we can magnetize the needle a bit more. So I'll set this down. I'll set my magnet out of the way. Cork, I'm not going to use cork, I'm going to use polystyrene. So I'm going to break a bit off polystyrene. Now, if you're using cork, what you can do is you can actually, your mum or your daddy could help you and use a knife to cut a slice off the cork because you don't you don't need to use the whole lot. And I'm going to break a bit off polystyrene. And this amount of polystyrene should be enough. Probably more than enough actually. I'll move my other wee two needles. Okay, so if your Palestine blows away in the wind, just grab it back again. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our container, and I'll set it there so you can see it. And we're going to add in some water. And you just need to make sure the container is non-metallic, so that it doesn't interfere with how the, the needle is going to face, or what way it's going to turn. So we let it, the water settle a wee bit, and we'll put our polystyrene in just like that. And here's our needle that we've just magnetized. And what we're going to do is, we're just going to set it on top of the polystyrene. And hopefully, yeah, you can see it's starting to turn. Now the wind's blowing mine a wee bit too. And we'll zoom in on it there and we'll see it turning. Okay, so you can see the base of the needle is pointing towards me almost. And then if I lift up this compass, you can see that north is also facing almost towards me. So actually what we've done there is, we've magnetized that needle and it's now pointing towards north. So if we spin that around or do anything to it, it'll uh, face north again. And and it'll face north again, yeah. So that's a good trick. Um, if we magnetize that needle just like we did at the start, and we sat at the table like this. Really that needle still wants to face north. It's using all its might now that we've magnetized it. It's trying to turn to face north, but because there's too much friction in the table, it can't move. So just by putting it in something buoyant, like a cork or polystyrene and water, it gives it that freedom to twist whatever way it wants. And that's what forces the needle constantly to push back this way. So there you go boys and girls, that's how to make your own compass and you can, if you're in a real emergency 
and you had a bit of uh, cork or polystyrene in your rucksack and a needle and a magnet, you could make your own campus there and then in the mountains, at a lake, on a campsite, wherever you wanted to. So have a go at that over the next week and hopefully it's successful and you can send us in a few photos from WhatsApp and we'll see what your creations look like and we'll see you next week. Okay, see you later boys and girls, bye! Thank you.